Hello, everybody. Hope you all had a very Merry Christmas, and I'm hoping you're all looking forward to the New Year as much as I am. Now, bit of a thing to tell you all. Um, don't expect me to upload a lot of things in the, in the New Year. I got a lot of things to adapt to, and besides, I don't really have much motivation to do things, but I am very thankful for your patience. Like, sorry if I keep making you wait and stuff like that. It's just, it's hard to come up with new ideas when you have such a decent buildup of people that like your stuff, you know? It's, it, it gets to you. The pressure gets to you. Um, but for this, I thought I'd show you guys my last upload for the year, 2023. What feature, none other than something that a lot of you are very you're familiar with me doing, voice impressions. Um, two new characters are new to me that I can do. Uh, Striker, Edward Bosco's version. By the way, if you read this bit, Edward, I'm sorry if I butcher the, the voice. I'm, from the, I'm a British guy, so the accent might be a bit rusty. Um, and Jax from TADC, of course, Digital Circus. Um, but I've also brought in two voices I'm used to, like... Yeah, can't speak, so I'm just really excited to show you guys this. Um, Stolas and Moxie um, are the ones that are going to be uh, in this as well. I've asked them, all four of them, a question. How was their holiday, and are they looking forward to the new year? The answers might be pretty clear once you watch this, so let's get straight to it, shall we? Well, on the plus side, at least this owl that's asked me this fucking question ain't part of the royalty around here. So I'll give him a point for that. If you're asking me, the holiday went smoothly. I mean, I got a lot of shit to deal with. I got a ton of people after me for all the wrong reasons and for all the right reasons, if I'm honest with you. <sighs> Pissing me off. But one thing's for certain, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they'll react when I take away one of their most prized employees, you know? IMP ain't just your standard run-of-the-mill company. There's quite a few people there that are willing to go the extra distance. One of them happens to be that little bitch's wife. We'll see how he likes it. When I permanently take her away from him, should be a pretty gruesome divorce. <laughs> I have no idea who on earth was maniacally laughing over there or talking about a certain married couple, but, uh, obvious crossover implications aside, I must admit this Christmas was pretty smooth sailing. Everyone was having a good time, I got a few good gifts. Pomni got a good few as well. She got more than all of us because she was new here, but I'm not complaining. But uh, <laughs> I may have pulled a little joke on Ragatha and maybe even Gangle a few times. And um, Kane doesn't know it, but I might have done something to um, what he likes to eat. Don't, don't tell him. Don't tell him. It's a secret. <laughs> uh, aside from that... I'm looking forward to what the new year will give us. If anything, if you ask me, I just want to see how Pomni gets on down here because something tells me she might have better mental capacity than all of us combined. You never know. Sometimes the smaller ones can outweigh the biggest ones in terms of capacity, strength, maybe even versatility. I don't know what you're asking me to talk about. Just Hope everyone has a good new year. And if you wonder why I sound slightly unusual, it's because I'm used to doing a voice that's um, a bit more relatable to this. Was that self-aware? Or was I talking too much? Oh! It's my turn next? I forgot the order this was in. <laughs> if you were to ask me what I would strive for the most in the new year... Definitely giving Blitzy that crystal I owe him. I do hope he takes it well. I don't want him to assume that I'm breaking up with him, because I want him to feel a lot less pressured, you know? I get the feeling he's getting very stressed very easily due to what I've been putting him through. For example, um... The offer I gave him, once every full moon, bring the book to me and we have a little moment. I get the feeling it might have been stressing him out a bit too much, and I want to try and, like, 
get that stress off of his back. Because I want him to do his own thing without any issues, and I suppose this crystal, with its powers, it could grant him the same properties as my book without him having to worry about the deal in the first place. If anything, it could give him more free time to bond with me and maybe share um, a nice drink and maybe watch a film together. I just want him to realize that I genuinely care for him as much as everyone else cares for him. Like Fizzarali and all of his friends. I don't want him to think I'm some type of extremely thirsty and, a, and clingy owl. I want to be more than that. I've got a lot of things on my plate to begin with, like me having to help Octavia with whatever she's going through, and it's just getting to me so much. I, I'm trying to focus on so many things. I just want Blissey to be happy without any problems on his back. It's not easy, but I'll do what I must for him, for everyone he's known, for goodness knows how long. Can I have a moment, please? Thank you. Well, to start with, I'm really hoping that um, I get to do more things with Millie outside of, like, the love songs and what have you. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love doing them quite a lot. Just, I want to try other activities to make her happy. Maybe something like dancing on ice or... Maybe going out for a nice meal. That always works. But not all the time. Maybe I'll find something that she'll be happy to do something with me, of course. <laughs> I'm mixing up words because I'm so nervous about telling you about this. I always get... <laughs> I get so anxious about what I want to do with Millie because sometimes I feel like I don't deserve her sometimes. She's too good for she's too good for me sometimes but whenever she tells me moxie honey you do deserve me no questions asked i can't help but smile it's really sweet of her so if you ask me if things go well for the new year i think the best thing i can do is try something new it's the best thing to do, if you ask me. Because not only do I love her to absolute death, I just want to do something that she's comfortable with. She's very into my songs, sure, but maybe I'll let her choose what we could do for our anniversary for the second time around. Because... While Ozzy's was a bit of an experiment, I kind of had a feeling that a love song in the Lust Ring wasn't really going to go down too well with the King of Lust. But now that I know that he has an actual partner, I'm kind of conflicted. Maybe I'll have a chat with him in the future, but for now, just... All I can say is I'm happy to try something new with Millie, and perhaps... Maybe take off Stryker's head. Take off the skin, take out the brain and everything. Maybe have the skulls a trophy. It just sounds like something Millie would do, you know? Like that predator thing with the mandibles on the front of his mouth. I'll shut up. I think I've had my time here. I'm just going to let you finish this off. <laughs> Sorry if I took too long. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, that was actually a pretty good way to end it off. <laughs> But yeah, honestly, knowing all these um, little inputs here, I hope everyone has a great new year. And I'm hoping 2024 will start off with a bang, with the new Has Been series dropping on the 19th. I am very, very excited. I'm just doing a stretch, excuse me. I am very excited for what's to come in 2024. A new Hell of a Boss episodes, potentially. More awesome songs, more awesome action. Just. Everything about 2024 is going to be so good. And I'm all for it. And I'm hoping everyone else is just as excited as me. But for now, 
Have a very, very happy new year, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.